Live from the north side of Chicago, Wrigley Field. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago Cubs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. On the north that side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Chloe. And now the big time power Frazier. threat, Chloe Frazier. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew she was going to be a star just coming up, making her way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Gigantic blast. That's her fourth home run of the series. It's 2 0. That's her third straight game with a homer singing. This player is on fire, Boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Two outs, runner right at first. first. Now the, the third, third baseman, baseman, Christopher Morell. It's interesting he oh, plays Morel. kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Two outs. To the right side. Toss to Alonzo. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. It's the Tigers two and the Cubs nothing. Hey, get your pitch and drive it, huh? Lasers all day. Now batting. Second baseman, Chloe Frazier. First pitch misses. Absolutely crushed. And that one is going to land by a van down by the river. A massive home run. Her second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-0. She's swinging a red hot bat. This isn't the first home run we've seen her hit these last few games, and it probably won't be the last. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. So the batting order turns over. The Here's the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. Cody. So easy to look at the Bellinger. big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Payoff pitch. On the ground, a short could be two. There's one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders second took care of business. Pretty textbook yeah. execution between short Peter and second said. to turn that into two outs. Now batting, second baseman. Frazier goes five feet seven inches, 22 years old. Can't forget to mention she's a former MVP. That one is absolutely belted. And it gets down. There's the record. Coming home. Throw cut off to third. Not in time. She's safe. A run comes in on the play. We have a new single season hit queen. What a moment. And she is having a year for the ages. We're witnessing incredible history right here. One of the greatest seasons of all time. The consistency it takes to maintain this level of success over the course of the year is almost hard to believe. Huge congrats to her on this amazing accomplishment. 
runner at third two gone Pete Alonzo getting ready to hit. Two outs on the ground right side in plenty of time to first they limit the damage here so they pick up a run on two hits no errors and a man left last half of the fifth coming up Tigers four and the Cubs one. Runner at third with one gone. Dansby Swanson, the next cup to hit. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not easy. Ground ball right side. Oh, what a stop. To her knee, the throw on the money. Nice play. She looks so comfortable making that play, dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like she's just playing catch with her kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. And here's the catcher, Pablo Aliendo. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. You'll one. Right side. Tosses to first, inning over, and it could have been worse. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Tigers five and the Cubs four. Here's the second baseman, Chloe Frazier. Three for three, two homers and a triple. Hey, see it and rip it up there, kids. See it and rip it. To the right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Now batting the first baseman. Pete. Runner at first with two away. Here's Pete Alonso. Frazier off of first with two away. Rip to third. Zips it to first. And that is that. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Midway in inning number seven. And it's time to stretch. It's the Tigers five and the Cubs four. And we got no Michael here. Bush, the next Cub to hit. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The batter, the catcher, Pablo. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further, get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these players, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. 